Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Simply Dan Homestead. Today, we're going to inject our turkey. It's Monday. Thanksgiving is Thursday, and we have a huge turkey. So, we're going to use Tony Satry's Butter Jalapeno. Oh, it's good. Normally, we use the Urban Butter but they didn't have any at the store where we shop. So we've used this before. It's not that hot. It's not that spicy. It gives a, a perfect blend of flavors and it's so delicious. But in each bottle, you'll get a syringe. And all you do is you're gonna open it up and there'll be a needle with holes throughout it. And you're going to take that needle and just twist it onto the top like that. And then you put your suction part in. And I just recommend that you shake this up real good because it does settle on the bottom. And once you've got it all shake, shook up, um, you're good to go. And I'm going to use a little cup. It's going to take a little longer, but it's okay. Now, there's something I did want to tell you. Don't, like we have four, four of these. Don't throw them away. You don't have to use the needle part, but they make wonderful feeders for your animals. If you have baby animals and you have to bottle feed them or give them, you know, some medicine, uh, go ahead and save those. If I remember correctly, we have a 32 or 35 pound turkey here. So what I'm gonna do is I have it in the roasting pan. We fry our turkeys and this one's gonna have to be cut in half to fry it. So I wanna make sure all the goodness gets in that meat, but it is a beauty. So let's get going and get this injected. I have my injection here. You just stick the needle in there and pull it back and it'll suck all the liquid in. And then you can start wherever you want. Just poke the needle in and push gently. Don't force it, just push it. This this wing right here, it's going to take this whole vial. And you'll see, you'll see it puff up when it gets full. And when this gets low, you can just fill it up. I got the smaller one because I could tip it and bend it more to get everything out. And if you feel resistance, uh, pull your needle back and then just go ahead and push your butter down in there. And sometimes you will, you might hit, you're not on, um, the meat part. So I'm gonna get this other wing. And I'm doing it in the roaster because I want it to be in the, you know, in a pan. So when I turn the turkey, which I will, I'll turn it. And um, I will be able to have that butter all around it so the turkey doesn't dry out that way. And you can, you can do different ways of, um, you know, seasoning your turkey to keep it while it's defrosting. Uh, you can use a brine, you can um, butter it, like a, uh, just put a butter coating on it. 
and that'll work too. I mean, people have all sorts of different ways of, of uh, preserving their turkey while they're thawing it out. So this one is surprisingly, I put it out Sunday. I kept it out for 24 hours actually. And then I um, went ahead and put it in the refrigerator and it's as I, I thought it would take longer than two days for it to thaw out. But see, like when it gets low like that, I can just tip it and get all that butter out there. I still have plenty more, but anyway, I just keep keep pushing in there. If, Like I said, if you hit resistance, pull it out and then put it back in and keep shaking your bottle intermittently because all that goodness settles and you want to get it all, y'all. So, there we go. See that leg just, or wing just plump up and it will drain out. You'll see a little drain out. That's okay, that's okay. Okay, I've got the turkey flip breast side up now. And we're just going to keep injecting that with this wonderful, wonderful butter jalapeno. And um, this, is, this is the best part because this is like where all the meat, the meat is and all the goodness gets shot into and It'll sit there for two days marinating and it will be so delicious. So delicious. So what are y'all doing for Thanksgiving? Are you having family over? Are you going to a buffet to eat <laughs> like we did? Gotta tell you that buffet was really good. It's it's really cool when this blows the chicken up like a balloon. I like that's one of the fun parts for me. I don't know why. Oh okay. All right, y'all. That's how I marinate. Our chick, our turkey, not chicken. Oh, it's like a chicken. But it's well, gosh, I forgot to tell you that I wrapped this in plastic wrap because I want to keep that moist. And now I'm going to put the lid on, but you see the lid, it doesn't fit all the way. And that's why I wrap it in plastic. Honestly, I don't need the lid. So uh, we may just say forget it, but I have it wrapped and tucked so it will keep the turkey from drying out. And I will turn this over every day until Thanksgiving to make sure all sides have the butter on them and it remains moist. And we'll just tuck that in to the pan and that will help keep it very moist and wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video of me marinating our turkey. I still have two more bottles to go. I didn't want to torture y'all with me sticking this in the turkey. I'm gonna keep doing it though while I'm doing this video. And I hope uh, that y'all will tell me, what are you doing? How do you do your turkey? Are you roasting it? Are you smoking it? Oh, that sounds so good. I want to show you the bottom. See all that on the bottom? Are you doing a traditional uh, baking it, you know, in the oven? Um, do, you, do you slather it with butter and seasoning? Do you stuff it with 
herbs and bay leaves and goodness. Uh, how do you do it? I, I love finding new recipes. For us, um, you know, as long as we can afford to do it, it's a very uh, expensive way to cook a turkey because peanut oil is, well, last year when we bought it, it was $43 for the container of peanut oil. So it's, it's not cheap. I'm not going to lie. It's not cheap, but it's a treat once a year that we can give ourselves. And if you know how to cook it, you will never want a turkey another way. <laughs> that's, that's how we are. I mean, that's how we are. I'm just saying. It is so delicious and so, so juicy and tender and fabulous. Oh, and it's, you know, it's got a little bit of crunchies on the, on the wing tips. And if you like that, the wings and, and, uh, the neck and the bread part, I don't, can't eat a whole breast, obviously, but the breast is, I, I like the white meat and, well, I, I actually, I'll eat any, any part of it, but tell me how you're cooking. Tell me what y'all are having for Thanksgiving. Are you having family over? What are you doing? Do you need to come to Simply Jan's Homestead and have Thanksgiving supper with us? We could probably take on four more people and still have more than enough. <laughs> uh, well, I hope y'all will have a blessed and wonderful holiday. We have so much to be thankful for, y'all. We serve the Most High God, and He is so good to us. He protects us and watches over us, and He loves us. Y'all, happy Thanksgiving. Be blessed and love well. Bye now.